What is going on everybody? I was wanting to do a quick tutorial on how to connect your MetaMask to PulseChain. So, the first step you will want to do, just by the way, testnet is what is available right now. This will still pertain when PulseChain mainnet goes live. So the first thing you always want to do is first start with the actual source. So we want to find this information from our man, Richard Hart. Currently, the message that he said was testnet v3 is here. Please use it and prepare for mainnet launch warning. This is the final testnet. So Pulse Chain is right around the corner, and I've gotten this question quite a lot, so I want to make a, a series of how-to videos, starting with this one about how to actually connect. So what we'll do first is I like to open up these tabs individually, and that way you kind of have an idea of all of these items as well. So the first one that you see is the actual Pulse X, which is the decentralized exchange for Pulse Chain. Once you have MetaMask installed, you can then essentially go down to connect wallet. This is one of the easiest methods to connect your MetaMask. All you would do is simply click connect right here and you'll get a pop-up notification asking you if you would like to go ahead and make it happen for this account and actually add testnet or pulse chain testnet to the actual account. So I would say connect. It's going to give me all of the RPC information. So in this situation, it's very simple. But again, I want to zoom in just so that way y'all can maybe see things just a little bit clearer. But again, if you want to actually add this in yourself, this is actually the information that you would need. Again, at this time, it's Pulse Chain Testnet. This is the RPC information. 942 is the chain ID. And the currency right now at this time is TPLS for test PLS. You can scroll down and simply click approve. That is one of the easiest methods to do it. The next one is actually by going to the Block Explorer. This is the actual Block Explorer, just like Etherscan.io or BSE Scan for Binance. These are all the Block Explorers for Pulse Chain. If you scroll all the way down to the very bottom, you're going to notice this little icon right here. It's going to say Add, Add Testnet V3. Again, let me zoom in just so that way maybe y'all can see things a little bit easier. So again, if you scroll all the way down to the very bottom, you're gonna see a little section right here where it says add testnet v3. Well, guess what? When you click that, you get that same pop-up icon notification basically asking if you wanna go through and connect the RPC, which is what we just looked at right there. Those are two of the easiest methods to connect at this point in time. So I'm just going to go ahead and say approve. We are switching from Ethereum to the testnet v3. I'm going to go ahead and click switch network as well. And what you'll notice at that point in time is now when we are in our MetaMask, we are now on testnet v3. Okay. Very simple, very easy, and this is the beginning part of how to begin. Now, the second step we want to do is actually fund this account, okay? We do want to fund this account so we can start transacting on it right away. One of the websites you can do this on is freepulse.io. It's a very free website that allows us to simply connect, and if this is your very first time connecting to the website, what you'll notice is you will actually be given, <laughs> select the most accurate description. You got to complete a CAPTCHA first, of course. So we're going to complete the CAPTCHA, elephant, elephant, cool. We're going to be given the ability to get free polls, free test polls right here. But you're also going to be given 10,000 TPLS right away. And you can withdraw this TPLS by simply clicking withdraw and choosing the amount now I've already done it for this address, so that is just what I can do. I will withdraw this amount. So now in my wallet I have 71 uh, TPLS, or this will show up here in just a second. I wanted to show you all that video on that one. That is the beginning of the how-to series. If you all have further questions on the pulse chain that you would like answered, please leave them down in the comments below, and I'll look forward to talking to you soon.